when we started the show, it was all about the metal. It was all about the music. It wasn't about money. It wasn't about greed. It was just about us having fun in the basement, filming, goofing off, and having a good time. We had a great run on the first season. We got a lot done. We had a pretty good fan base after that. And uh, it all crashed. It's a shame it crashed. We cast out fish a little bit. Talk about no. Yeah, we started a metal show a couple years ago. It's over at old school Ben Cooper's house. Uh, Dakota comes over, says, "Got got the idea for the metal show, you know." Says he wants us to be a part of it, kind of be host. July of 2013, I got a phone call from Dakota Case, and he said, "I want to do a metal show with Brian Roberts." I love those guys, so I agreed. Promptly. A little skeptical at first, didn't know exactly what was going to happen, you know. But uh, once we got to film in spring, you know, it was pretty good. Uh, first episode went well. We got some bigger bands on the show. Everything was going good, good times, had good chemistry. Filming went great. Uh, the reaction of the crowd was great. But what I didn't know is I was getting into a roller coaster ride of lying, stealing, greed. Heavy drug use, alcohol use, strippers. I do not want to mention other things. Uh, we had a lot of people digging the show. Good momentum going. And uh, we ended up getting the whole first season done. Had a good finale on there. Uh, had a few parties, a few screening parties. Everything was going good. Took a little break to uh, you know catch up on things. And uh, got season two going. Had the promo. The promo went great. Uh, everybody was digging it. It was just a crazy ride. But I remember season one went well. We had Enfold Darkness and Wretched. All sorts of great bands on there. Animality. Great bands. We uh, went to several local music venues throughout Nashville. Clarksville. We had a great time. We got the first episode out around the fall of that year. And then uh, we get uh, a message from a big record deal saying we can't put ads on these videos because we're making money off their bands. And I'm like, well, why do we have ads up on the videos to begin with? Dakota wasn't telling us about the ads that we had on the videos. And uh, I didn't know anything about it. So I was like, so Dakota, where's all the money we've been making off all these views, you know? Probably make the big money off these ads. Let's talk about Dakota Kessel, a greedy, smug person who put ads on our videos without knowing and stole our money. We worked hard for that money. You know, I put my life on the line for that money. We have like 200 views. That's like a dollar. I gave them a quarter. They don't remember it. Ben just wasn't there mentally. I just heard a fish jump experimenting with psychedelic drugs and whatnot. I love nature. Look at all this. This is where I would come to when these guys would treat me like I was some sort of weirdo. And uh, things just fell apart. We started working on side projects. You will smell my butthole. Lost the chemistry, lost momentum. Things weren't going good. And uh, it was a grim time for all of us. Uh, couldn't find Dakota, you'd call him. Couldn't, couldn't get an answer out of him if you paid him for it. You know, as, as Dakota's personal advisor, I, I, I'm not at liberty to discuss any of that with you. And I'll, I, I'm not at liberty to discuss any of that with you. Sir, sir, are you an alcoholic? I'm not an alcoholic, I'm a drunk. Fuck meetings. And uh, every time you talk to Ben, he just changed the subject. Didn't even want to talk about Yo Metal Show, so uh, you know, if you ask me, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you ask them, you know what I'm saying? You want the truth, you come to me, but you want the bullshit, you get their side of the story, you know what I'm saying? I'm just living real. Uh, you want a uh, season two, you tell them to come to me and get real, and then we'll, maybe we'll talk about season two. The Rift General. He's a good person, but. He was always late. 
We would get there to film at his house and he would be asleep and there would be booze bottles everywhere. Cocaine and strippers everywhere. Man, Ben said I was doing cocaine and hanging out with strippers and shit. Man, no, fuck that. That was Dakota, man. Y'all want to talk about bad habits? Ben's always going off in the woods and doing mushrooms and shit and getting lost off in the trails. Fucking Brian's been over here banging coke and hookers at the same fucking time. I, was, I saw it fucking happen. Take note that I never participated in any of the cocaine or strippers or hard alcohol or drug use. Ben's over here hanging out in the woods, eating mushrooms and acid like it's fucking candy. This is where I belonged was in nature. Ye old Metal Show went great up until Brian got on the hard substances and strippers. And it was all because of Dakota. Anyway, cut, cut the camera. Cut, you know what? Cut, get this out of my <laughs> But just bear with me here. I don't want to ever see those guys again. There's a waterfall over here I used to come to to get away from those guys. If you guys want to check it out, we can go. I don't want to see those guys again, and uh, I don't want to be a part of this uh, this um, remake of the show or this comeback of the show they speak of. I don't think I'm going to do it, and uh, I think I stand by that decision, and I'm going to I'm going to stick by that, and I'll tell you why. It's because those guys are greedy, and they don't know how to get things done because they don't know have any work ethic and they don't know how to be serious it's always party with those guys you know I mean how do you expect to get any work done with that and uh, I don't choose to work with that and uh, you know that's just my decision and uh, I thought I thought that through for a long time now it's been months since the last season and you know I just don't plan to contact those guys or have anything to do with them and uh, you know, I don't really care if I ever see them. Brian Roberts is all about the money. He is one greedy person. And for that matter, greed equals strippers and cocaine to him. One time, my ass. Dakota Pencil knows what went down, and I won't stand for it. I don't know how those hookers got in the hotel room when we were downtown. I didn't pay them. I don't think Ben paid them. Fucking, I know Brian's broke ass didn't pay them. Unless they want to reconvene, but as I promised, I will not return unless some things are closed in a sense. Like a door. And here I am, the cops show up, I'm surrounded by coke and hookers and I don't know what's going on. When it comes down to the point of the matter, those guys are dicks and I never want to see them again. <laughs>